Hi, good afternoon. So uh, welcome to another new video. So in today's video, I'm doing something slightly different. I'm doing a, a book review that nobody has asked for. Right? Not many people read books nowadays, but um, I found this really good one and I thought I should share with everybody. So uh, the title of this book um, is called Tokyo Shop Fronts. Um, and the subtitle is the Work Art Works of Matthias. Urbanowitz. I, I, I may pronounce this name wrongly, so I apologize if I have done that. Um, so I got this from the local store, um, the Kinokuniya in Singapore. It costs about $45 Singapore dollars. Um, yeah, so it's quite a thick book, all right? Um, and it, it contains the artworks um, of the uh, shop fronts in, in Tokyo. It comes with like a, a book jacket. Uh, I'm quite impressed that actually the book itself, like, um, apart from the book jacket, there's actually some kind of like a, a draft of the of the how, how he actually does the work. And also um, there is this um, big this, this map of all the shop fronts uh, that he has um, um, picked for, for this uh, book. So uh, Matthias is, is a Polish uh, graphic designer. This is, the, this is the content page and as you can see from the content page, he divided the whole book into about six sections. And, and, and they have about, he has about five sections on the uh, shop, uh, different areas of Tokyo. And, and in each section is one area. Uh, there are about 10 shops in one area. So you will get about 50 shop front. And at the last chapter, there is a section uh, on, on his atelier uh, or where he has actually done um, uh, all these paintings. At. So in each chapter, he begins uh, um, with, with this like introduction section, uh, chapter heading. And he, has, he actually does a small little uh, cute uh, hand-drawn uh, map of the shops that's in that area. So let's just look at the individual uh, art work. So this one is the same one that was that's on the cover. So I, th I think it's all right to actually show it. Before I bought the book, I was really worried that this could be just a book that is like there's no English uh, subtitle or there's no English English section. But this one gives you both a Japanese, there's a Japanese description and an English description. He gives you some of the history of the shop and also certain parts of the drawing that he really uh, liked to, 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 to show us. And, and I find that, that all these little notes uh, makes it very uh, very personal and makes it very interesting. This is on what's on the left hand side. On the right hand side he does, this is his beautiful artwork. Um, and and I, I think it, the, the paper feels, uh, it's quite, it's matte, it's not overly like um, shiny. Because sometimes when the, when the book surface is shiny, you don't, you get some kind of reflection, you can't see the, the artwork very well. So this is quite well done. From time to time, he has these inside views where there's like an exploded, like an expanded view and, and it's like a cutout. So you do see what's going on inside the shop. So, you know, you see the shop run from here, but then, you know, he also gives you a, a glimpse of what's inside and all these interesting things that you can see, which I find is so cool. Um, as well, I was a kid, when I was a kid, my favorite kind of books are the DK, you know, the DK cutoff books. So this is to me like one of the best thing, uh, you know, a book can, it's kind of enjoyment, like finding little things to see in, in the shop. So yeah, so that's, a, that's, that's what I, 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 I like. I think in the last section, he does give a little bit of uh, how he does it. So this is where he show, uh, you know, how he has done all these, all, all the, all his artwork. Um, he gave us like a, a, a bird's eye view uh, of his uh, workspace and also like what material he used, uh, what sort of uh, uh, um, how the process. So he goes through his process from start to the end. So you actually see how he draft, how he actually went around scouting for his for stuff, uh, which, I, which I thought uh, it's really quite a nice uh, way to end a book like this. In the next section, I will share what I have learned from the book as I apply them on an ink and wash template. For the artworks in this book, uh, Matthias uses the ink and wash technique. So the first thing that I noticed is that he uses a lot of colours. And he loved to, to use a potter's pink. I like his use of potter's pink, especially on, on surface that's kind of like boring, like this kind of like flat white, greyish kind of surface. He added the uh, potter's pink. And that shows, uh, give a lot of like granulation, and it shows uh, how 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 the texture of that wall is. Another point that I like that he has done is that he actually simplifies a lot of the um, plants, so he does not draw individual leaves. He actually just gives the outlines, and he just use paint to paint it over, which I thought, yeah, why not, right? You don't have to draw every single uh, leaf, uh, you know, to create white colors, uh, white 
section, he used a few methods. So there are some where he actually used uh, you know, masking fluids. You can actually see from these, um, those that are, are, are very distinct, these are uh, masking fluid. And then when, when for example, uh, for things like these, he probably used white pens. Uh, probably over here, he uses like the wet, white, wet, uh, he uses the white gel pen. Uh, yeah, which is, which is uh, something that we can learn from. Um, and also, um, I realized that he does, he used uh, blue, uh, like a maybe phthalo blue, use purple color for the, sh for the shadow. So if you, you, you know, if you want to do a realistic um, short fun drawing, this is something that you can actually consider. So um, yeah, I'm not going to show everything because I think it's good that you, you, you know, support the artist, buy his book because um, he has, they are all really beautiful. 50 beautiful shop fronts, um, Tokyo store fronts. And uh, I hope that you have a good time just uh, sitting, uh, reading this book, slowly digesting, looking at every spot, how he does, how he paints. And, and it should give you a lot of insights into making drawing a, a, a more realistic um, shop front building, uh, shop front uh, shops, right? So yeah, that's, that's all for the review today. I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, if you did, give me a thumbs up and uh, subscribe if you'd like to see similar content. Um, I also bought uh, to another book from him, um, which is the Tokyo night scene. Night, I think it's Tokyo at night or something. So if you would like to see that, uh, let me know in the comment section and I would just do a review that nobody asked for. All right. Thank you so much. Bye bye.